Good afternoon. This is Linda K. And it is Saturday, March the 7th, uh, 2020. And it is 1.01 p.m. in the afternoon. And yesterday we got snow. We got high winds and very cold temperatures. And now today it's sunny and it's like almost 50 degrees out. And there's still some snow and ice on the ground, but not very much of it. So, I decided to finally get around and make another Flosstube video. And this is Flosstube number 19. And I have, uh, I'm going to talk about my whips. I'm going to show some haul that I got and the book that I'm currently reading. So I'm going to start off with my whips and this is probably a long video but um, I have two heaven and earth design whips going at the same time I know I'm a little bit crazy. And so my my Otis Cade whip I called Daisy Offerings. And if I get in the right bag here, I will show you a without losing my needles. I will show you a picture of what she's gonna look like. And that's what she's gonna look like. And I started this and on September twenty third, twenty eleven. I thought I started in February, but I'm wrong. Started in on Friday, September twenty third, twenty eleven. Or two two thousand Yeah, two thousand eleven. And I'm doing it on uh, Charles Craft White 18 Count Ada. And I'm not going to take out the huge now. I'm just going to show you what, uh, where I'm at on it. And then when I get page 10 done, which I'm almost done with page 10, then I'll show the, the whole thing. But here is how much I got done on it. And I love the way her arm is and her hands. Her hand and her fingers. And the way she's holding the daisy flowers. And then this, and I just discovered not too long ago. This right here is actually a bird. Like a eagle type bird. Or, or or a butterfly. I'm not sure which. I think I think it's a butterfly. So yeah, that's what it looks like. I'm doing this on 18 count, Ada, white. I'm doing that. That's my dryer. I'm doing a two over one full cross, and I'm going doing one <coughs> one. Uh, 10 by 10 block at a time because there is heavy confetti in this pattern. And so I decided that when it comes to the confetti <coughs> confetti areas that I was only going to do one column per day within that 10 by 10 block until I finished that block. This way, I won't make no mistakes, I won't miss a stitch, and it won't be all messed up. So, I'm working my way down. This this is the, the end of, of another column. So, I'm working my way down, and then over, and then that column will be done. And then, there's another column here. And then there's like a half, like one column of the next page, which is page 11. That goes down here. 
So, as you can see, I'm almost done with it. So, and I work on this every single day, and right now I'm in the confetti block, which is this right here. This little square right here. And that is all confetti, so I'm doing one column per day on it until I get done with that block. And then the block underneath it, it's not too bad with confetti, but there are still some confetti in it. So. So, it's getting there, it's just taking me a long time. And I started on this three different times. And I keep all my projects in a vinyl plastic bags because they zip up and and you can get and you can get them in different sizes from Amazon. So, and I will, I really like them. And so does my cat because my cat likes to chew on them. And then my. Next, have oh, and the Daisy Offering, the artist on that is Sandra Cup K U C K, and, and it's a heaven and earth design. And so, my next heaven and earth design pattern is uh, called QS Library Fairy 5 by Randall Spangler. And here is what it's going to look like when I'm finished with it. And I'm on page three out of nine pages. And I'm doing this on 28 count white gold one, one over one, full cross. And here is what it looks like so far. So, this section right here, that is blank, when I get this section done, then page two will be finished. So I got, so I will have page one done, and page two done, and then page three will start, will start over here, right here, that's page three. So that's what it looks like. I'm doing it one over one, full cross on 28 count white children. So that's page number two. And as soon as I get my fabric, 25 count fabric, because from now on I'm going to do all my age on 25 count. Um, I'm going to throw many Alice in a, in, a, in a dollar dream and a flop picture that I want to do for a little girl. Okay, now for my non and my non hate ones, I'm uh, <coughs> I'm testing <coughs> a pattern called Mystic Dragon 2. My this world cross stitch, and here's what it looks like. And I love this. I when I saw this, I I had to get it. I'm in love with this, and I love dragon and I love unicorns. And I'm challenging myself because. I'm doing it on 20 or 14 count black Ada. And if I get it in the right position here, here is what it looks like so far. So. 
So I'm working my way up to the top, and this this is like page two, I think it is. Fourteen count black data, two over one full cross. So here is another row right here. So I'm working my way over over this way. And then I have another row that is kind of short all the way across. And and then next row will finish the almost the page and and then I have like the back side of the dragon that curls around like this. And then the you know, then the rest of the face and the rest of the body. And I am loving this. And it's going to be for me. And this is the, this is the, the one that I started in 2010. And I still don't have it done. And I don't know why I quit working on it. I don't have no idea because I'm in love with it. So that's my third whip that I'm working on. And then my last whip is called Kit <coughs> Kitchen Vendor. <coughs> Excuse me, I gotta get a drink. So I called Kitchen Visitor by Pamela Kellogg, and here's what it looked like when it's finished. And I got this out of some magazine, but I don't know what magazine that I got got it out of. So and it doesn't say. It just gives the date and the month. The I mean the year and the month, and that's it. There's no uh. Name of the sister magazine on it. And what there was. And I'm doing this on 14 count light blue Ada. And I love, and it's by Swagger. And I love this Ada because it is so soft. And the, the fabric is a little bit bigger than, than what it actually called for. Size wise, but I don't care. I would I would rather have a big net than than too small. So here's where it's at right now. So I'm working my way down toward the apples, and then then the roof and the side of the birdhouse, and then then the other side, and then the apples, and then there's a bird down by the apples so this is my so-called easy project that I work on in the evening when I'm too tired to work on anything else so that is my fourth whip so these are the only ones that I'm currently working on And and they're in the you know in in each of the their individual vinyl bags, and they have their own floss box, you know the plastic container like this, and the big ones have the bigger size floss box, and then the smaller ones has the smaller size floss box. And I use a. Uh, a spring tension hoop when I'm stitching because it holds my pattern real tight. I mean, it holds the fabric really tight, and so I like to keep my fabric tight when I'm stitching on it. The only one that I'm using a Q snap on is my Daisy Offerings because it's bigger and I can handle the fabric better. But the rest of them, I use the spring, the seven-inch spring tension hoop on them. 
So that's what I use to keep my fabric tight. Now, on to the haul. And I got a little bit of a haul. I um I wanna give first of all I wanna give a shout out to Rita um uh, Rita Marie's Stitching Adventure. She is on YouTube and that is her channel name. And I'm telling you, she is a fantastic sister and she knows how to start and end her threads and she explains it. And you know, in one of her videos, <clears throat> and <clears throat> and Rita, it's all your fault because you started the Frosty Forest series, and so when I started seeing you stitch the series each Friday, I had to get it. So, with that in mind, Rita. I bought the first two charts in the Frosty Forest series by Country County Needleworks. And so the first one in the series is called Raccoon, Ca Raccoon Cabin. And that's what it looked like. And then, uh, the chart number two in the series is called Snowy Deer by Country Cottage Need Needlework and it's, and it's the Frosty Forest chart number two. And there's nine charts to this series, so I got the first two. So Rita, I want you to know I got these. So if you're watching my video, here you go. I got them. The first two. Yeah, I fell I fell in love with this series when I seen Rita Marie existing these. And she's doing and it's really neat because she's doing a video every Friday. Um on this series. So she made a few videos testing uh the raccoon cat cabin on you know on video. She she made a video of it and then she started doing uh the second chart, the snowy deer and she made a video of her testing on that and I love watching her uh testing videos. So she got the first two done now. So, so I would highly recommend that you go watch Rita Marie's Stitching Adventure Plus Two video because she because her videos are super fantastic and she is so nice and so wonderful. She's very uh, friendly and she lives in the uh in. The, Netherlands, I think it is, is where she lives at. So the next thing that I, well, one other thing that I bought is from Little House Needleworks, and it's called the Stitching Bee, and I love bees. And I fell in love with this, but I'm not going to make it into a pillow. I'm, I'll make it into something else. But but it's called the, uh, the Stitching Bee. My little house needleworks, and here's what it looks like. I fell in love with this. And this uses um, the classic color work, but um, I don't. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change out the the threads because I'm not gonna buy classic color work. I'll just do DMT threads. So I can pay my match up what they have. 
and color. And then, then another one that I bought uh, called Car Cardinal Points Char Chart Pack. And it's by Julia Lane from Long Dog Samplers. And here's what it looked like. I got this from my LNS, which is House of Stitches. And then, then um, the the three smaller ones I got that I already told you, I got those from 123 Stitch. But yeah, I did a Cardio Point chart pack. And then I bought a Heaven and Earth design one. And this is one of the charts that I want to stitch like now. But I got to get the 25 fabric count for it. And it's called Hanging with Sun Butterflies Flop. And the, the artist is Gina Pike. And I'm, and I'm making this for a, a young girl that loves so as soon as I get my 25 count Lugana, then I'll be throwing this one over one. So that is all of the haul that I got since the last time I made a video. And I got three Heaven and Earth design patterns coming to me. Charts, I should say. Because they're, they're consider, considered a charge. I got three of them coming to, coming to me. And so, and they're all paid for. So I'm kind of anxious to get them. <coughs> <coughs> now, the last thing that I have is the book that I'm currently reading. is called Basket Case by Nancy Haddock. And that's what it looks like. And I got this from my local library. And come to find out, I think I got them here. Come to find out, there are two other books to this series besides this one. And the name of the series is called Silver, Silver, Silver Six S I X Mystery Series by Nancy. Haddock, and this is book one in the series, and then the other two, uh, book number two, and this is in order. Book number two is called Paint the Town, and then book number three in the series is called A Crime of Poison. So, there's three books to this series. And this book is really good, and some parts of it is funny as well. And I am loving this book, and I got the other two, Paint the Town and A Crime of Poison. I got them on hold to my library. So that's the current book that I'm reading, and I love, this is, this is a cozy mystery. And so I love reading cozy mystery because they're clean and they're enjoyable and you can read them you know within a within a decent time frame it doesn't take long to read one so and I think that is it um I want to welcome my new subscriber because I do have new subscriber yay so now I'm up to 200 and 204 uh, subscribers now. Yay! And uh, I'm so happy about that. And for those who have been with me for a while and are returning, thank you so much for watching my videos and for returning and watching me. And thank you for all of the comments. And Thank you for taking the time out to watch my videos. And I just appreciate each and every one of you. 
Thank you so very much. I love you all. And I hope you have a great teaching week weekend. Thank you so much. And I love you all. I will hopefully see you in my next video, which will be hopefully be um next Friday, the thirteenth. Oh, Friday Friday the thirteenth is next Friday. Oh, okay. So I will see you in my next video. Take care and happy stitching. Bye.